Hello, I've been recently tagged by Sandy, um, whose link I will put up on the screen. Sandy's got some great videos, so it's well worth a visit to his channel. And he's tagged me, asking me to do a little review on my two favourite knives. Now, I struggle with this a bit, because I've not really had many knives, to be honest. Um, so, the two I've chosen, I'm going to start with this one, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with. It's a Mora, Frost Mora Clipper, it's the 860 military grade, and I've only just bought it. So, you might say, well how can you say this is your favourite knife? Well, I can't really, but this is the only other knife I've ever really owned. Uh, I know it's a good knife, because nearly everybody has one, they all rave about them, all the top uh, bushcrafters out there seem to be talking about them and use them so if it's good enough for them I'm sure it's going to be good enough for me uh, I'm really pleased with it, it looks really good uh, I'm just looking forward to uh, putting it to some good use so there you go Sandy, that's my first candidate the Mora Clipper which uh, I'm really going to enjoy testing out now my second choice is completely other end of the spectrum uh, this one being absolutely brand spanking new and this one being very very old well I suppose it's what you class as very very old but uh, I'll tell you a little story about this knife that's the knife um, it's got a steel blade it's got like a leather wrapped handle with a, an antler sort of butt end on it there and a leather sheath um, and on the leather sheath it's been stamped from the Scout Jamboree in Austria in 1951 uh, there's one for 1957 there's another one that's faded that I can't see and then there's two on the back that I've stamped back in 19, must be 1980 something like that um, when I was in the Scouts, I used to go to a castle in Scotland where they used to train um, the soldiers out there for the World War. Uh, and David Niven was one of those uh, army guys being trained, apparently. Um, so we used to go there every Easter, uh, and there used to be an old guy there uh, who used to sort of, he was, was a part of our Scout group, but he used to go there. Uh, tending the grounds of the castle for the owner of the castle, uh, the Camerons. His name was Frank Shuff, uh, really old, got a lovely guy, uh, loved his scouting, uh, he was always keen to help all the young scouts and training them with different skills and he taught me a lot about um, using an axe, using a knife, things like that. Uh, and sadly uh, a couple of years after we'd stopped going to Scotland, uh, he passed away. And then years down the line, I was on a canoeing trip, and the guy who was running the canoeing trip um, was talking, well, he actually had this knife. And I uh, saw it, I, I said, oh, that's a nice knife. And he told me whose it was. And yes, you guessed it, it was Frank Schultz. And I said, oh, yeah, I knew Frank. He told me a lot about what I've just said. And uh, he says, all oh, right, well, if you knew Frank and you liked him and stuff like that, you have the knife. I mean, as a 14-year-old, or whatever I was at the time, uh, all them years ago, 20, 30 years ago, um, to get something like this was just amazing. And I could not could not believe it. This was a time when you were allowed to carry knives around in public and what have you. And I was proud to have it on my belt. Uh, as a scout. Um, so that is why this is one of my favourite knives, well <laughs> other than that one I've only got two, uh, but this is my favourite knife for that particular reason, it's sentimental, it's probably not, a, I haven't used it that much, I must be honest, I've hardly ever used it, it's probably what it is, it's blunt, it needs a good sharpen, it needs a good clean, um, I've cleaned up this sheath and polished it and what have you, just to try and bring it back up to, you know, back up to new. Uh, Wade and Butcher, Sheffield, England, the blade. Um, so, 
There you go, Sandy. Those are my two favourite knives. This one for sentimental reasons. Uh, I'm sure I can get it sharpened up and bring it back to back to life and make good use out of it. Um, my other one is the Mora Clipper 860 MG. Uh, so there you go. Cheers, Sandy. I hope to see you again in another video.